Hey everyone, meteorologist Taylor Conduced with your forecast. We are looking at warming temperatures as we head into hump day on Wednesday. It's going to be still fairly cloudy, at least early on. There is a chance we get some sunshine in the afternoon, but uh, even if we don't see much sun, it is going to be warmer forecast highs in the 70s for most of us. 72 in Des Moines, Ames, Fort Dodge and Carroll. Best chance to see sunshine will be in southern Iowa, where forecast highs are in the mid 70s for Lamoni as well as a Tumwa. Now on Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we are still going to stay very warm. Overnight temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s uh, during that time. But here comes our next cold front. It's a big one and it's going to move through the I-35 corridor probably in the mid to late morning on Thursday. And behind that front, temperatures dip quickly. We are quickly down to the 40s by the mid afternoon on Thursday. We posit here at 6 o'clock Thursday. Many of you could be down to the 30s at that point. So we're starting off feeling very comfortable on Thursday. Not so much by the end of the day. That cold front will also spark some scattered showers and thunderstorms. We'll time it out here on Futurecast. And while there is a chance at some stronger storms in uh, parts of central Iowa, it's probably going to be a little bit more likely for the eastern part of the state. That cold front looks to be moving through maybe a little quicker than we expected yesterday. So as a result, that severe threat will be uh, probably highest in the eastern part of the state. But still, there is a potential for some damaging winds, large hail. We have a lot of spin in the atmosphere, so we can't completely roll out a tornado. But uh, chances are we won't have have to worry about that as those storms move through on Thursday. Even when we don't have thunderstorms, it is going to be quite windy these next few days. South winds tomorrow, 12 to 24 miles per hour, and then northwesterly winds Thursday into Friday, 15 to 25 miles per hour. And when you factor in that wind, it's going to feel mighty cold by the end of this week. Wind chills by Friday morning down to the teens for most of us. And even during the day on Friday when we're going to have some sunshine, it's only going to feel like the 20s winter like feel out there for your Veterans Day, and that's how it's going to feel for a while. Your whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast keeping highs in the 30s, not only this entire weekend, but most of next week as well. And with that cold air around, we'll have at least a chance at some snowflakes to fly around. Certainly no big snowstorms or any big systems coming our way uh, next week, but uh, certainly could see at least a few flakes flying around. Chilly overnight lows as we head into next week with a lot of 20s and even some teens in the extended forecast.